There's only one more thing left for you to do. And what does God say? God says, praise me fanatically. Praise me fanatically. God says, praise me for my excellent work. God says, praise me for my grace and my mercy. God says, praise me for bringing you out in the past. God says, praise me for getting ready to bring you out. And now in the future, God says, praise me fanatically. Praise me fanatically. Praise me when you don't feel like praising me. Praise me when you don't want to praise me. Praise me when you can't even figure out how to praise me. God says when you really want to see the manifestation of his glory, when you really want to see the manifestation of his signs, wonders, and miracles following those who believe, God says praise me fanatically. But but, but I want to tell you how fanatical you have to be. See, and Joseph, Jehoshaphat, listen, he bowed his head and his face to the ground and all All of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Then the Levites, these are the praisers of the children of the Kohabites and the children of the Korahites, stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with voices loud on high. So you know what? Sometimes you have to get undignified with your praise. Sometimes you have to just get down on the ground and put your head beneath your knees and say, God, I praise you. God, I thank you. Then by the time you get down, you get up and you have a whole new praise because you know that it's not too late it's not too late and see this particular form of the word praise means you have to come out of it it says you have to praise him clamorously foolish uh, before him so sometimes when you see people running and doing like this sometimes we're just being clamorously foolish before our God so because I know I know what my God can do so sometimes God says just praise me children praise me fanatically come out of your six digit income come out of your luxury vehicle come out of your house on the hill and just praise me praise me for waking you up this morning praise me for starting you on your way praise me for keeping you safe from harm praise me for even giving you a job praise me for paying your bills praise me praise me it's very simple praise me fanatically praise me fanatically because see when God is gracious enough to allow prophetic instruction to come forth when you need it most this is no time to have a dignified praise this is the time to open up your mouth this is the time to act foolish before your God this is the time to even act like you've lost your mind this is the time to praise because why let me tell you it's not too late because when you praise like that guess what happened in worship there will come a sound that can't be manufactured or manipulated this sound only comes when pure prophetic worship is at work it's an absolutely new sound it's a new sound coming from heaven it's a sound that you haven't heard before because it's a divine sound that shifts the atmosphere and releases that next level of glory because the people have to be refreshed it causes the people to be renewed it causes the people to realize that it's never too late it's never too late Do you hear that prophetic sound of worship? It's never too late, let me tell you, for God to do a new thing. It's never too late for him to do a new thing in your life. It's never too late. Because just when I thought God couldn't do a new thing, just when I thought I was going to be by myself forever, God showed me that as long as I clung on to him, that he would do a new thing, give me new joy, give me new hope and new reason for living. Because God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can think, ask, or imagine because of the power that's on the inside of you. So sometimes in the midst of a dead situation, you have to prophesy 
testify to your own self and say, Spirit of the living God, arise on the inside of me and be my help, God. Be my joy. Be my sustainer. Be my life. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Fall fresh on me. And I don't tell you what I think I know. I I don't tell you what I just saw. I tell you what I know I've done in a season of my life when I thought I wasn't going to make it. I proclaimed the fast for two years. I proclaimed it and lived a lifestyle of fasting and praying unto God. Because I said, God, if you don't do something now, I don't know what I'm going to do and I see the manifestation of everything that he said was going to happen because sometimes when you get prophetic words sometimes it's very conditional things have to be in order and you can't go resting on that if you're not ready to position and hear God to speak a new thing because it's never too late it's never too late I admonish you, people of God, in the midst of your bad situation, proclaim a fast, pray fervently, prophesy faithfully, and praise fanatically. Because just like it was never too late for Jesus, it's never too late for us as kingdom heirs. Because he hung, he died, and he rose. He hung, he died, and he rose. It was never too late for him to hang on a cross for our sins. It it, it was never too late for him to die and shed blood for us. And it was never too late for him to rise with all power in his hands. And because he rose with all power in his hands, we walk as kingdom heirs and we walk saying, God, it's never too late. God, I know it's never too late. And for those of you who think it's too late, those of you who have been wrestling and turning with God being too late, I just want you to move forward really fast. And I want to just pray and release the word over you. I'm going to pray with you, agree with you, because it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. Now, because she's bold enough to come down here, I'm just going to pray with her. And you connect your faith with my faith. You reach up in the spirit and grab what you need. Because obviously this time was for her. As I saw her struggling with whether or not to even come forward. God says, daughter, it is your time. Daughter, you've sold tears in the midnight hour. But God says, daughter, it's not too late. Because surely you've had some problems and some issues even as it relates to family and even as it relates to knowing how to move in the right timing of God God says I spoke this word just for you on this day so that you could know that in the spite in the midst of your dead-end dilemma I'm here to give you a divine destiny. I'm here to do what only I can do. And because of that, I'm going to heal the broken pieces of your heart. I'm going to put them back together again. And I'm going to come against every spirit of violation, every spirit of abuse that has tried to pull you down. God says, daughter, I'm here to deliver. So God, on this day, God, I plead the blood of Jesus over her. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet, God, I declare and I decree that no weapon formed against her shall prosper. God, I declare and I decree that it's not too late. It's not too late. 
for God to do everything that he said it was going to do. God, I prophesy a hedge of protection around her now, God. And I say that even as she leaves from this building, God, she'll not only hear a new sound, God, but she'll see a new sight. She'll see a new vision. And as she sees that new vision, God, she will praise you fanatically. And God says, daughter, as you praise me fanatically, know that in three days, I'm going to do something that you thought wasn't going to be able to be done. And in three days, you're going to come and you're going to testify about the goodness of God. And you're going to say, God, I was about to give up. God, I was about to leave. But now because of this, God, I'm standing and I'm declaring the mighty works of the Lord. Because God, I believe. Yeah, believe it, I believe it. She believes. And God, because she believes, I connect my faith with her faith. And I say, whatever you have need of, so be it unto you. So be it unto you. God says, never again allow yourself to get so caught up in a person that you trust them over trusting me. God says, that is not the answer. And God says, even as you rededicate just your life to me, know that I'm going to do things for you that you never imagined. All those things that you have down on your calendar saying, I need this to be done right now. God says, believe that it's going to happen. Believe that it's going to happen. Rosa. So God, we thank you for Ro Rosa. God, I, I prophesy over her mind, God. God, I say keep her mind in perfect peace as she keeps her mind on you. In the name of Jesus, God, disconnect her from everything, God, that needs to be disconnected. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I prophesy a wind of protection around her. God, I thank you, God, that she even feels the angelic host being with her. God, rebeshete in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, God. Roboshema, mama. Hallelujah, God. Roboshema, no, 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 Hallelujah. And God, even for those people, Lord God, who came up, God, we thank you for them. Even now, just hold your hands above to God. Believe that he's going to supply everything that needs to be supplied. Right now, declare in your own life, it's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Oh, come on, people of God, declare it's not too late. Come on, I can't hear you. Declare it's not, it's not too late. Uh-uh, it's not too late. Uh-uh, it's not too late. Some of you have mortgages due. Some of you have bills that need to be paid. Some of you guys have even children that need to come home. It's not too late. It's not too late. Some of you have college tuition that needs to be paid. It's not too late. And for what you think is too late, you know what? I declare the favor of God upon your life because some things all you need to do is walk in the favor of God and know that what you thought was going to be ha ha have to happen in the natural God can take care of it in the spiritual it is so it is so it is so so God we thank you for your presence today and God even as we're thanking you for your presence God we're going to honor you with the fruit, God, of not just our lips, God, but the fruit of our seed. God, we're going to sow into the word that has been preached and released. And God, just as you showed us how to sow seed on Sunday, God, we are showing sowing seed on Wednesday, God. And as we sow our seed, God, we thank you, God, for manifestation. God, I thank you that your people have been refreshed that your people have been renewed, that they've been encouraged and empowered to live a life for you. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, God, I thank you and I praise you.